Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. In this video, we'll be talking about the three ways you can improve at locals and become a better Yu-Gi-Oh player. Of course, we're getting to that December, January time where Yu-Gi-Oh tends to slow down. I thought this video might be helpful for newcomers, as well as current players that maybe did not think about these tips and hopefully can win you more games at local. So the first and probably most obvious way of improving is just to keep practicing. Yu-Gi-Oh is a game built on current and new cards that always come out and then new tech that also releases. So it's always good to keep practicing and just memorize the way your deck is played. If you happen to know your combo lines well enough, you can also win under time pressure because you just have them in your head and you're able to break the opponent's board. If you have the knowledge of what your opponent is playing, it's very easy for you to break the board and know exactly what they have up their sleeve. Of course in Yu-Gi-Oh! the unknown is what makes things interesting but if you happen to know everything they do then it's pretty hard to beat that I and mean, when you've seen Pegasus in the anime of course knowing every move but sometimes he still does lose. One way you can practice is against your friends or playing online and ultimately the more duels you put in the more reps you put in you will become an even better player and I'm sure if you talk to any pro Yu-Gi-Oh! player they'll say the exact same thing definitely keep practicing and you can do so using simulators like Master Duel or EDO Pro as well as just playing locally with your friends or at local tournament. Making sure you test your deck against different strategies is also a really good way to test the ceiling of the deck and see how it performs against different strategies. For example, does my Trellman deck play well against Exorcist stuff? Probably not. Or it might play well against a Rogue deck and then Flanders is obviously a different situation and then how is it against other combo decks? So it's really interesting to see what your deck is capable of and also a really good way to test your deck building knowledge and gameplay. Another way to improve your ego is analyzing your mistakes. So after a duel, have a think and see what you did wrong. Maybe you played a card too early and revealed your secrets or you removed the card off the board that probably should have stayed there and then removed it later. Or maybe you just didn't calculate your battle phase damage enough or you ran into time. These are all different scenarios and situations that Yu-Gi-Oh present. As long as you analyze your games, I'm sure you'll be able to learn from it and come back better and hopefully start winning more of your local games. Sometimes analyzing your play may involve changing your deck list, ratios, side deck and extra deck and maybe the changing factor. Of course, cards that come to mind are the super polarization, an amazing main deck or side deck card, and other cards like Ultimate Slayer, Pot of Prosperity, and Dark Pillar, and Evenly Match. And sometimes not having a certain card in your side deck can actually lose you the game because certain strategies are just so powerful. So it's good to analyze what's represented the most in your locals and tournaments and going from there. You can also watch videos from the best players in the game. Of course, watching the YCS coverages or re-watching past metas is actually really good to understand how a deck is performing and how it's performing now, as well as just learning the nuances of playing Yu-Gi-Oh. Yu-Gi-Oh is obviously quite a complicated game at the highest competitive level, but as long as you watch these replays and learn how pro players play, I think you're going to be able to grasp a lot of it and hopefully translate a lot of those skills into your gameplay. Well, up to date with the meta is probably the most valuable thing you can learn in Yu-Gi-Oh. Of course, if you know what your opponent is playing, if you know what's being expected, maybe a new pack release, maybe a reprint set was released, meaning everyone has access to cards like Lightning Storm, you should probably start playing around this card more. If I know Tournament is really popular at the moment, maybe I'll just blind someone in Abyss Dweller, game one, and then resolve it in their draw phase and it may or may not pull off but chances are it probably will. Something else that's really important in Yu-Gi-Oh is hand traps. Hand traps are very dominant in Yu-Gi-Oh and pulled off in the right way you can easily win more games so it's best to find out which ones are the most effective right now. If you're curious about the current ban list I have a video up on the channel talking about the hand trap tier list and I think you'll be quite surprised about the results. One thing that stands out to me are the beast deal cards in this meta and they might not translate in the future. So those are just a few ways of how you can improve as a Yu-Gi-Oh player. There are lots more and if you want to see more, let me know in the comments down below. Whether you're a beginner or expert, there's always room to improve and it's always good to keep up to date with what the current meta is and knowing how to play your deck. Whether you're a beginner or an experienced player, there's always room for improvement. And as long as you keep practicing, analyzing your gameplay and keeping up to date with the meta. And with those three skills in mind, there's little in the way of getting you your tops at your locals and tournaments. And that's been the video guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you like the video, make sure to drop a like. What do you find is a challenge right now with Yu-Gi-Oh? Let me know in the comments down below. And that being said guys, I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.